Hello, my name is Richard Kirkby and I'm Product Manager for MacDon Industries with responsibilities for the R1 Series Disc More. I'd like to spend a couple of minutes walking around the machine just showing you where the key lubricating points are and the items of maintenance that you need to pay attention to. So let's start at the front of the mower. We have the normal drive shaft uh, that has grease circs on the cross universals underneath both of these shields as well as in the telescoping area of the drive line. Very common to all of the uh, drive lines that are used on mowers today. We also have lubricating points on these two gearboxes, the top gearbox and the bottom gearbox. And we can see right at the very back, just an example of the level plug. And right at the very bottom, there's a drain plug. And that's common on the top gearbox as well, but on the front side. All of the gearboxes on this mower use 85140 oil. Let's move down the hitch and look at the other grease points. Well, right on the hitch, we have placed a decal. This decal gives us not only service intervals, but also the location of the decals. We'll just pull a couple of covers as an example of where you find them. So you're going to find a grease circ not only at the front of this drive line, but as we move down, we're going to be a hanger in each of the locations. We can see here by this decal that this grease circ needs to be greased every 50 hours. Now access to the grease point in here is by removing this particular shield. This particular shield will require a tool in order to undo it. So now we're looking underneath here, we can see that there is a grease circ located here that lubricates the hanger bearing. And then by turning the cover over on the drive line, there is a hole in it. And we can see here that provides the access to the universal cross for lubricating the joint. As we move down to the back of the drive line, we have the slip clutch located underneath this cover here. The slip clutch is designed to provide a protection for the whole of the mower. Should you run into an obstacle with the cutter bar, that slip clutch will slip, preventing continued drive into the cutter bar, protecting all of the cutter bar and the conditioner rolls that drive afterwards. There is a cross shaft coming from these two gearboxes. These gearboxes are the same as we have at the very front. 85140 oil and the same level plugs are in the same locations. Drive comes down through the gearbox and underneath this cover there is another drive line which has the similar type of shield we've seen coming down the hitch. The easiest way to access this drive line is with the mower raised up we can then get underneath it and just grease that drive line. Again it's a 50 hour service intervals. Let's move around the mower to the left end and have a look at the grease points on the conditioner. And you can see here that we have clear access to the conditioner. So things to check on here would be the length and condition of the spring and the condition of the belts. Lubricating wise, we need to grease 25 hours interval, the tensioner for the drive belt. Then also on the two conditioner rolls, you've got grease circs for the bottom roll and also for the top roll. One of the features of the R1 series is that we have three different types of conditioners. We have a steel on steel roll conditioner, a poly roll conditioner, and then we also have a finger conditioner. All of these are available uh, from your dealer at the time you order the machine. But because of each of those conditioner rolls requires a different type of service interval, a different location for the grease circs, on top of each of the conditioner roll modules, you're going to find a decal that provides that information. If we take a look at that decal, we'll find that there are some grease circs underneath this shield on the right side of the mower. So let's remove the shield and have a look at where they are located. We can see now that there are grease circs located on each of the drive shafts, as well as on the bearings for the bottom roll and the top roll. Grease intervals are reflected by these decal, which indicates that these points are 25 hour lubrication points. Also on this side of the mower, we have a gearbox. This gearbox has a level glass in it. Then we have also a drain plug on it. Again, this is more of a yearly maintenance on this gearbox. There's another decal that's placed on the carrier frame. And here we can see that we've got grease intervals and grease circs on the hubs of the wheels and also on the pivot points for this uh, float mechanism. There's a grease circ underneath here that needs to be done every 25 hours. So again, it's labeled uh, quite clearly on this decal. So that's an overview of where the grease points are found on this machine and also of some of the service intervals that we recommend. So having serviced the machine, you'll find that additional information is contained in the operator's manual uh, to give you a full explanation of all of the grease circs and all of the service intervals.